Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. My name is Sean and today we're going to look at a new feature called the text stylizer. So uh, let's uh, jump right in here. Um, this is an example of a, a website a design in Photoshop. Uh, what PSD to CSS online does is it takes your designs for, Photoshop, uh, for uh, websites and uh, converts them in just a few minutes into completely working functional websites with lots of different kinds of features. We do menu systems and image galleries and videos and um, all sorts of stuff. Um, today we're looking at uh, how you can stylize your text. Um, this is a really neat feature. This, uh, you'll see in just a moment. So uh, here's an example of a, of a fairly straightforward uh, web design. Um, uh, it's got a number of uh, PSD to CSS Online named layers. That's how PSD to CSS Online works. You name the layers in Photoshop uh, in a certain way, and uh, PSD to CSS Online reads those layer names and uh, generates the right the right code for you. Um, so we'll just take this uh, file. We will go to PSD to CSS Online, and uh, let's see here. We will grab the file, upload it. So while this is going. Um, here, I'll give you a little background while this is happening. In the past, if you had a, a text layer, like this box right here, this is where I want a bunch of text in this design. It's called latest underscore text. Um, the uh, PSD to CSS Online would, would generate some special text for you and put it here and say, this is your layer that you called latest underscore text underscore uh, uh, pound FFF. Um, replace it with your own HTML, and you would have to go in with some kind of editor, either Dreamweaver or a text editor, and add your own HTML right there. Um, I did that because I knew that if I let people choose whatever font they want here, um, it wouldn't look the same. There's only five fonts that all the browsers use. Um, and uh, it wouldn't look the same, and I'd get lots of complaints. So um, so this is kind of a solution to that. Oh, here we go. It's already converted. So uh, so here's the web, the web page that we have uh, that was has been generated from this PSD, to C, this PSD file. It... Uh, the biggest visual difference is uh, all this background, this, these, uh, this background kind of greenish color. That's this layer right here. Um, this particular layer was called uh, body background, and uh, underscore body background, and that means to repeat or, or uh, wrap that layer all the way across the whole background, no matter how big the browser is. So you can see it looks much better. But here's an example of the kind of text that I've always generated in the past. Hi, this is a spot that gave you the that uh, you gave the label that yada yada yada. So now. This is the preview that uh, PSD to CSS Online has always generated for you. It only, as you saw, it only took a couple minutes, not even. Um, but if you click on any text now in your uh, preview, you get a dialog box that comes up that you can use to change what text is here, change the color of the text that's here, change the font and the size. There's all sorts of things you can change about this text. So um, let's uh, let's see. Let's uh, grab this. Here, in fact, I'll go over it and just copy some lorem ipsum here. Here we go. It's just a bunch of text. Um, we'll go back to our page here, and I'll paste this in. And you see, instantly it updates the your design. You can see it right there. Um, I'll make this a paragraph. There we go. And copy it again. Oops, I made that a paragraph. Oh, I see. Um, and if you click the Save button, then it automatically saves it not just to the to your browser; it saves it back to the server. So the server now, ref, uh, the version in the server now reflects this. The HTML that uh, was that is quote unquote generated for you um, includes your changes. Um, let's see. So in our original design, this was big big white letters. So let's correct, click on that, change it to white. Let's uh, change the text to be something like uh, "Best Website Ever." And of course, I want that much bigger, so I'll grab the font size here, make that bigger. That looks pretty good. Save. Let's start in the shape up there. Um, let's change this down here. Let's say, uh, let's call it, let's like make that text uh, some advertising here. We're uh, selling this website for, uh, for a client. How does that sound? We're going to sell it to them, and we want them to know that they can see some advertising there. We'll make it great big like that. And you know what? Advertising is about money. We need serifs if there's going to be. Uh, we're talking about money, right? So there, that's starting to look better. Um, so and then down here, uh, you can also put into this text area. You can put uh, HTML, actual HTML tags. So let's uh, make a header, a heading tag. 
for title of this story and h3 make a new paragraph paste some stuff in there paste some more stuff in there oh and uh, if you need a bigger space to edit no problem just make this thing bigger it's all good um, so there we go save so now now we've got a story there and some advertising over here we've got some new text as you can see this is really turning into my complete finished website very very quickly very very easily I haven't opened a text editor anywhere I haven't had to even open another program I took my Photoshop design I uploaded it to PSD to CSS online and now here just you know minutes later I've, I've got my working website um, these are some of the other PSD to CSS online features the menus here were just just how we drew them over here in Photoshop here's some some layers for menus that's how that worked um, uh, so yeah, oh, this uh, blue box here is uh, the underscore frame feature for PSD to CSS Online. So as this content gets bigger and smaller, let's see, that blue box just gets bigger. It's always the right size. It pushes the content down. So we have fluid layouts. Get rid of some of that again. Um, so and uh, not only not only is this saving it to the server every time so that I can hit refresh and sure enough the page looks exactly the same way nothing changed because it's literally in the server this way um, I can go back here and the zip file every time you make a change is automatically updated so now when I download the zip file this is all the generated code so that you can put it on your own server here's the zip file um, I'll even show you I'll open it up here this is the zip file that we opened it's kinda cool that the Mac does that we'll uh, open a blank page and uh, look in this folder here and just grab index.html and drag it in there and there you can see this is this really truly is exactly this is the generated code for uh, the last three minutes of effort that I made um, or five minutes seven minutes I guess so uh, so anyways that's it that's the uh, text stylizer um, for the preview when you're hosted here you just click on that the stylizer comes up change the colors that's pretty ugly change sizes um, and that's it, text stylizing. Have fun. Thanks.